Welcome to this video. It's going to be probably one of the very last videos in the setup of this AR Wing Pro. Basically, all we need to do now that we've got the electronics installed, we've got the, uh, the servos set up and the throws are all done properly, all we really need to do now is uh, attach the winglets as they need to be attached to the tips of the wings and then do the final software setup inside of iNav to make sure that all of our safety features are set up, all of our flight modes and all of those things are set up properly before we can take it out and fly it. Let's take a look at, at putting these wing tips on. It's not a very difficult process. So there are, there are two and uh, it's important to make sure that you get the right one for the right wing. They do look basically the same um, and the wings do as well. And so if you have a wing upside down, it's pretty easy to choose the wrong the wrong wing tip. So just make sure you have the right wing tip for the right wing. Um, they come along with these four little screws. So you'll probably want to have a little Phillips head screwdriver. And I've got a little bit of, I guess in this case, I'm going to use Gorilla Glue. The connecting points between this wing tip and the wing have a piece of balsa on both sides. And so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue along there to just you know, make a slightly better and slightly stronger connection. And that's all it's going to take. So to get it started, I'm going to just drop, whoops, see, just drop those in and at least get it started in the wood. Nothing too crazy there, and oh, I'll keep it on the easier one to manage. Just like I said, put a little bit of glue. I just spread that a bit. There is a already, I'm not sure if it's visible, but there's just already a slight pre-drilled hole for where the screws will go. So they line up just exactly where you need them to. And then um, use your handy dandy screwdriver to put them in. Just get them snug, you don't need to over crank and over tighten it. And that is that is it. That's all it takes to to attach. It's on there very firmly. You can see here that the piece of wood, the two pieces of woods are now, or woods, the two pieces of wood are now firmly connected. And if there's a little bit of glue coming out, I'm just going to smooth it away and it's clean. Perfect. Time for the second one. Like before, just get it to the point where it is snug, but you're not crushing anything. And again, if there's any excess glue, just, just wipe it off. And that is it. That is the, the whole process of putting those wing tips on. Super easy. Nice that everything's all pre-drilled. It makes it pretty, pretty straightforward and foolproof. And so now, what we are starting to see, unfortunately my camera doesn't zoom out more than this to see the whole thing, but we basically 
have our completed wing. Now, of course, there's a carbon strut that goes through here or support rod that goes through. But for just right now, basically, we've got ourselves the completed flying wing. The last step, like I've said before, is to come into iNav and set up the final elements for our first flight. We'll need to make sure that there is correct flight mode set up, that our fail safe is set up, and, and a few other things to make sure that everything is working before we go out and take it out for the maiden flight. So the next video will be about getting that part set up. And then uh, not too long after that, we should be able to take it out into the field and fly it for the very first time. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, hope you found the video helpful and, and perhaps entertaining. And uh, look forward to seeing you in another one. Until then, take care.